Wow, so much damage being done. That that what what can I say? Literally, that is just pretty fantastic. Okay, so that guy's now ready. So let's take him over here. Hello reformers and welcome back to Empires Apart and it's been updated. Oh yes, it has been updated and we are going to go into the skirmish mode once again. We're going to go against... I'm a bit dubious about actually going for the highest difficulty AI because they have apparently worked on the AI and made it better. And so, if, do you want to see me lose badly? Yeah, okay, yeah, you do. You certainly do. Alright, so, yeah, they've also added a new faction to the game. And we have the same factions in general, with the exception of the Arabs. The Arabs are the new ones. And I think we're probably going to play as them. So, why not? Because they're an advanced civilization, high focus on knowledge, they can convert enemy units, medics can heal units, they also have assassins that can take down high-profile targets. That sounds like a pretty fun idea. And, well, as you can see here, the, the hero is, well, coming in the next version. So, yeah, we're obviously not able to play with him, kind of. But anyway, let us start the game. Alright, so here we go. Let us start. Let, give, give me control of my people, please. Let's move these Let's move these guys up ahead here. I have a bad feeling that I'm going to get absolutely murdered. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so let's just send my dude all the way all over the place. He's going to go everywhere. And uh, yeah, we probably want to start getting some of these guys. So let me see if I can remember how to play this. Yes. Okay, so we're going to get a bunch of food from this you know, from these sheep, but I'm going to need more and more and more food as quickly as possible because we do want to get our basic military development as soon as possible. So if we can do that, then that is going to be just fine and dandy. So I'm going to try and get as many kind of like farms and things as we can. And it seems like farms are auto seeding already. So that's pretty good. And let's just continue to get that. And we have another one coming. Oh, we're under attack already. Hello. Oh, okay. So who are we up? Oh, no. It's a mirror match. It's a mirror match. We're up against the same faction. This is not going to go well. Yeah, you can mark my words that this is probably not going to go well. All right, well. If that's how it has to be, then that's how it has to be, yes. Okay, so let me just try and see if I can get my scout around here a little bit more, just to make sure that we know what is in the area, because we don't really want to just randomly have things going on here. Alright, so what's that? That's a barracks. I want my storage. I want my storage, so I'm going to try and see if I can just get a bunch of wood now. Because, as I say, I'm going to go for a very early military development just so that we can get the highest level units, highest tier units, as soon as possible. It's a bit of a risky maneuver because obviously <laughs> uh, we're playing against a very hard AI and I'm kind of sure I'm going to lose. So let's let's actually see whether that is indeed the case. Okay, so uh, yeah, just go and, go and chop down that wood, please. And let's actually just get a bunch more. And saying that, I, you know, I should really not build too many of these. I should just try to be a little bit careful about my spending. Because even though we do have quite a few food being, you know, currently produced, it is still, you know, a little bit worrying. Anyway, let's just build that house right there. Yeah, just bear in mind that I am not going to be optimized when it comes to building in this kind of game. I am nowhere near a veteran of these kinds of games, like Age of Empires in general. Usually I just play it for fun. I don't play it for, like, you know, competitive reasons or anything like that. So, yeah, anyway. Civilization upgrade is now available. 40 seconds until our first military upgrade. And what is that over there? Oh, we got some, oh, we got some gold and things like that. All right, we're going to need to start going over there pretty soon by the looks of things and our other economic development requires wood so I guess I'm gonna try and start doing that we're gonna need to kill some of these over here and I'm gonna build a storage here just so that 
people can use it to mine gold and they can also use it to hopefully kill these things here. So let's just kill that. Oh no, they're running away. It's, t it's terrible. Okay, let's just kill that first. Okay, could you, could you just kill that? Oh, yes. Okay, so apparently they use projectiles. Yeah, so moving targets are very, very difficult to kind of hit now because they're using actual projectiles. They're not hit scan weapons or anything, obviously. So, yeah, anyway, let's just get those guys over there. And all of them are inactive. So it seems like I'm going to need to wait until these sheep get over here and then we can get a bunch more food. There we go. All right. So gold is kind of worthless right now, in my opinion, at the very least. So let's just let's just get this guy over here just to kill this kill this deer. There we go. And maybe you can maybe you can kill these as well. It's probably a bad idea to do it like that, isn't it? It's probably a really bad idea to do it like that. So we should probably just there we go. Okay, so let's just kill it that way. There we go. That's much better. All right. So we are now having some issues with the obvious, which is of course wood. So I'm going to have to get a bunch of our guys on that instead. And food is actually going pretty well now. So once these guys are done with their sheep, I'm going to set them onto some wood here. Probably should have built my storage in the other area here. But well, as I say, I'm not exactly the most optimized when it comes to this. So let's let's see how we do though. Let's see how we do. I should probably get a barracks up and running as soon as possible, by the way, because I think we're gonna have some difficulties if we don't have any combat units whatsoever. So yeah, probably gonna need to do that. But wait a minute, what about this? Provides vision. Okay, let's let's actually just build that vision tower here because it might be nice to have a little bit of an advanced warning. Because I think they're probably gonna come from the sort of top here, because as you can see, it's basically a direct line right to where we are. So let's just send a bunch of our other people over here to get some wood. And we probably want to build another house. All right, let's get a couple more. Oh, there we go. All right, all right, okay. So sh okay, we're gonna fight. We're apparently gonna fight with our villagers. Because that's all we got. That's all we got right now, which is not exactly great. Okay, they're running away. Yeah, that's what you get. That is what you get. You better run away from my fearsome villagers. Yes. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So apparently they're not reseeding by themselves. Okay, so now I've enabled it. Okay, interesting. I actually thought that they would have done that beforehand. What, why is he not reseeding? Oh, he's not reseeding because we don't have enough wood, isn't he? All right. Well, we're going to have a load of wood. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. We're going to have a bunch of wood uh, very, very soon, hopefully. There we go. There we go. All right. He's, he's starting to reseed it now. So I think you need about 50 to reseed by the looks of things. Yeah, you need 50. All right. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, they're coming in with some more. Ah, oh, yeah, okay. So the AI is not that passive this time around, as you can blatantly see. And I'm not entirely sure if we're going to be able to defend against this. I mean, my villagers are actually not even that bad at fighting. You can see that. I mean, they, they, they are actually not bad at all. But they are not anywhere near going to be able to defeat people like this. So, <laughs> yes. This is, uh, this is not good. Okay. I need so much wood to be able to build a barracks. So I'm going to just divert everyone to wood production. And hopefully my town hall is literally just going to be able to defend our forces. And if they come over here, we're going to, we're going to clobber them. We are going to clobber them the best we can. But you can see already that the AI has been improved dramatically. Yeah, sure. Attack that farmer. I don't care. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. You can attack that farmer. I've just replaced him. Yeah, kind of. But yes, anyway, you can kind of see that they have already improved the AI pretty dramatically that they're able to, you know, actually attack us. I'm actually kind of surprised that the 
enemy faction, which is indeed our faction, the Arabs, which are technically a protection-based civilization, are wanting to attack us this much. But, oh well. That's absolutely fine. I don't really mind too much because we're able to kill these guys pretty easily if we, like, all gang up on them. So, let's just do that. Kill him. Kill him. Oh, my micromanaging literally just got him alive. Okay. Yeah, you can, you can kind of see that. All right, well, never mind. At least we now have the opportunity to get spearmen. Effective against mounted units? Doesn't really matter either way. Let's just get a bunch of whatevers. <laughs> a bunch of whatevers, yeah. There we go. And let's also upgrade our units as well. Let's kill this guy off, finally. And let's kill these guys now as well. My workers really do need to be replaced. So let's try and do some of that. I now finally have a warrior. Oh, finally. Okay. Well, this is... This is interesting. And, uh, yeah. Now, obviously, the main issue that we are going to have now is that I... Yeah, I could technically get some spearmen. Let's get some spearmen as well, then, I suppose. Yeah, so at least we now have some warriors which are capable of doing a little bit of damage, but we are very much on the back foot here. I think I've actually lost. You know that? I think I've actually lost. So, should we restart and see whether we can... Should we, should we just play with... The, uh, yeah, okay. We're going to play with the same exact difficulty, but I'm going to try a different build order this time. Alright, so we're back on the create game screen. You can see here I'm going to be playing against Hardest just in case I actually do win. You're going to know that it is indeed on the highest level. It's, it's going to be unlikely, I think. But I think this time around I'm going to have a bit of a different idea of what I'm going to be doing. So we're going to just take these sheep over here. We're going to just take them very, very close to where we need to be. And I'm going to just take my scout everywhere and we're just going to start getting a villager up here as soon as possible. And this time around, I'm not going to focus so much on economy and not going to focus so much on food production because that seemed to really kind of shoot us in the foot. So instead of that, I'm actually going to concentrate on doing a little bit of everything. So yes, I'm going to try and be a little bit more aggressive this time as well because that seems to really make a bit of a difference if we can take out a couple of their workers and maybe just make a bit of a nuisance of ourselves, basically. So, I'm going to send this guy over here. We've already improved our population cap, which is pretty nice. And we are being attacked. Okay, so who who, who are we fighting? Uh, I have no idea who that is. Who is that? <laughs> I don't know. But we have some sheep here that we tamed, which is pretty amazing. So let's get those guys to come back to us. Did we just steal their sheep? I think we just stole their sheep, which is... Pretty fantastic. There's actually a couple of sheep over here too. So I'm going to get this guy to come back here and go and get those sheep. And we're going to get a couple more villagers here. And we're just going to see what we can do about it. Uh, seems like this is a little bit of a... Uh, probably a bit of a better start. But you can already see that the AI has been improved. And that is a bit scary. That is a bit scary. I mean... I don't exactly know how quick that actually was for, the, for, for that guy to actually produce those units. So I'm not entirely sure how scary it actually is, but I guess we'll find out in the replay if we so desire to look at it. And uh, I think we have enough to actually build a barracks already. So the next person to load off some wood, I'm actually going to use to build a barracks. So let's, let's just build it over here. We should probably build some walls as well if we actually do get the opportunity to, you know, have enough wood to do that. And we do have some relics here as well. I'd love to be able to... Uh, I really want to get those relics. Getting those relics is probably really, really useful. So where's my where's my scout gone? Oh, there he is. What's he doing? What, what are you doing there? I have no idea. All right, let's get a, a couple more villagers, and let's get our barracks here, and we're going to just... Actually, I don't know where they're going to come from, so I'm just going to set my warriors to spawn over there. And we're going to already queue up a warrior, and we're going to try and consistently build warrior units. And, and, oh, look at that, we found some more sheep. That's nice. 
So we're just going to tell those guys to go over there. But yeah, I need to actually find some gold. So where are, where's the gold? Oh, there it is. Ugh. That is a pretty awful location for some gold, but oh well. Never mind. Okay, we've got one warrior. Let's get another one. Let's build another house. And these guys, they're not doing anything. What are you doing? Get down there and get some gold. I'm actually going to put a storage right here because it's going to reduce travel time and it's going to give us... Well, technically, yeah, it's going to give us two avenues. One, we can get food from here and we can get gold from here and we can also get stone from there. So it's kind of like a triple threat <laughs> in a way, in a way. Okay, so let's just see if I can get another house going on there. We do need to get some more farms, but we have quite a bit of sheep right here. So it might not even be necessary for us to really worry about that so much just yet. But I think we really do need to get a storage over here by the forest. Because we're definitely going to need to start, you know, actually getting a huge amount more wood. We only have 50 at the moment and I don't have any farms. And I'm going to need some farms, aren't I? So actually, am I? Am I going to need farms? Because we do have berries here. It's technically gold mine at the moment because it's still, you know, in development. But yeah, that that might make sense. All right. So, oh, 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 oh hello there. Hello there, light cavalry. You're, you're having a bit of a bit of a bit of trouble right there. Yes, that's good. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that. Yeah. All right. So at the moment, our food is not that good, is it? I'm not entirely sure. Mm, maybe I'm producing too many warriors or something. But oh dear, you ran all the way over there, didn't you? You idiot! What are you doing? Ah. I have no idea, but what we're going to do is we're going to try and kill this. Kill them. Kill those guys. Yes. Kill. Yes. That's a waste of gold. That is a waste of gold for you. Yes. Exactly. Okay. I'm just going to kill them as much as possible. And not get too close to the town hall because that is, of course, going to damage us. And that is not very good. So let's just destroy the farm. Destroy the farm. Or just destroy all the workers nearby to it. Yeah, there we go. All right. So that guy's now dead, which is pretty fantastic. And I think I'm gonna I'm just gonna get a bunch more workers to come over here because I think we have enough on the wood right now. And if I can just send another one, one of my warriors over there, and I think we're probably gonna need to just move them back a little bit here. And I'm gonna just do hit and run tactics basically we're just gonna come in here we're gonna try and do as much damage as we can to the actual farm and then we're gonna run away if we need to otherwise we can just kill the units nearby ah they have some warriors aha hello there well we have warriors too oh whoa ooh, okay these guys are actually breaking our shields they're able to get through our shields by the looks of things i think they're i think they're disrupting us actually yeah, I think they're actually disrupting us, which does add damage, by the way. So this particular faction that we're fighting against has an ability called Disruption, which is enabling them to gain additional damage from other units that also want to do damage to us. So let's let's take our let's take our warriors over there. There we go. We are absolutely wreaking havoc with our highly aggressive build start this time around because. Last time, well, we were kind of just prey for the opponent. But this time around, we're, well, we're doing okay. I mean, I am actually taking a couple of losses right here. Let's get the economic upgrade. Oh, yeah, they don't. Oh, they have nothing on us. They have nothing. There we go. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to tell one of my, I'm going to tell my warriors to actually rally over here. And what do you, oh, the scout ran out. Yeah, the scout ran in. That's not particularly good, because now we've lost a lot of our mobility, but I suppose that's all right. Okay, so these guys, they're not doing anything. We can get them to go over there to the gold mine. And let's actually level up our warriors. No, 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 you're not going to run in there. I need to find their... I need to find their food production, don't I? So it might be a good idea for me to walk around here a little bit and see what's going on with it. There we go. Okay, let's face them.
Kill him. Ah, no. Okay, so let's take a look around there. And we're going to continue to just produce some units and let them run across the map. And let's get another couple of villages here. I'm going to need to build another house. And what's this? Well, what are you doing there? Mm, I'm, I'm going to need to build some additional things. So I'm going to take this guy. And let's have a look here. No, you need a blacksmith. I'd like a... Well, I'd like a tower, actually. Um, yeah, maybe a stone wall or a wooden wall or something like that. Oh, wow, they're coming in. All right, there you go. There they are. Okay, they're attacking us. So, yeah, this guy... Oh, yes, we've got some veteran warriors now. Oh, yeah, there we go. They don't know what's going to hit them. They don't know what's going to hit them. There we go. That is what we like to see. Okay, that's great. All right, so... Yeah, we're going to build a wooden wall right here. And that was not what I wanted to do. Great. Okay, well, that's okay, I guess. Alright, so, yeah, let's, let's just continue this wall. And we're going to do... Like that, I guess. <laughs> I know some of you actually wanted to see the wall building, so there's the wall building for you. And, uh, yeah, if I can maybe get a little bit more food for us. That would be kind of nice. Let's get a couple more warriors. I am I am rallying them across, which is actually okay, because as you can see, we're, we seem to be doing quite a bit of damage to them by chasing them down. But our wood production has kind of ground to a halt, so we're probably going to need a little bit more that. Mm, our gold is okay, kind of. We just need more villagers, I think. I think that's literally what we need right now. So I'm going to try and get some more of those. But obviously, at the moment, our food is oh, just absolutely awful. Oh, wow. Okay, we're doing a lot of damage to them. But in the process, we're losing a couple of units for nothing. So I'm going to see what I can do about just taking these guys out. Whoa, we're doing so much damage. Do you see that? We're doing so much damage now that we have upgraded our units. Can I upgrade them anymore? No, it seems like I can't, but let's get a couple more of those guys and we don't want them to die. Okay, I'm actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to try and attack along the outskirts so that we are not going to be in range of the automatic defense. Okay, yeah, these guys are going to come over here. There we go, we've destroyed that, and I'm actually going to try and destroy some of their barracks as well. Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, I'm going to need to get some more people on the food situation. These guys are not doing anything. Wow, we have a bunch. Okay, so yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build a massive wall. There we go. Alright, so we seem to actually be doing a pretty decent job right here. And, ah, here's their food production. Ah, yes. Oh, and their wood as well. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to focus their storage if I can. Because that's going to increase their travel time, even if I do have to run away after that. Probably go for some more gold as well. Let's try and get a couple more of these guys. And we probably need to build another house. So let's get another one of those right there. Okay, my guys, I'm actually losing a bunch. Am I? No, no, no. It seems like... No, no. It seems, it seems okay. Wow, so much damage being done. That that what what can I say? Literally, that is just pretty fantastic. Okay, so that guy's now ready. So let's take him over here. Okay, I'm just gonna try and kill as many villagers as I can because the the, the less villagers they have, the better. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to kind of pull back a little bit. Now that my wall is almost up, we're going to pull back and... Oh, okay. So yeah, uh, I may have made a slight error. <laughs> uh, the slight error that I made is literally 
building a wall right here and my forces can't get around to actually build it. Well, that's interesting. Can you come around this way? Why can't you go around that way? That's a bit weird. Don't know why they're not going around that way. Okay. Well, they seem to actually still be alive, my forces. So I don't necessarily need to abandon them or anything. So let's just continue to take them out. What's actually going on here? So yeah, you can go around. Look at that. So what are they doing? They're, they're having... Uh, they're having some difficulties for some reason. Okay, well, you know what we're going to do? We're just going to go around here, and I'm going to build another storage. And then these guys are just going to try and remove some of these trees and things. I can't believe I have to do that, really. Come on now. Okay, so let's get these guys over here. And I'd like to get, if I can... Where is it? Temple. There we go. Let's get that. There's a, ma a market, and, uh, hmm, okay, university is pretty good. Hmm, I should probably should have done this a long time ago, but let's get this mill over here. How are they doing, by the way, on building that? Oh, they're almost done. There we go, that's done. Alright, so now, let's get two of these priests to go and get me some relics. Oh, yes. Because my forces are actually... Uh, yeah, they basically all died. That is not really good. That is not really good at all. Hmm. Let's get a bunch of them to go outside there. And th this is almost done. So we can get a whole bunch of different things. So let's collect some wood faster and what we're going to do is we're going to start getting farms up as well I have enough have enough wood for that so why not because this is almost gone as you can see and we're just going to get a bunch more of those where's my where's my priest Oh, they're, they're, oh, wow, they, they were they were fast. Okay. Well, that's pretty fantastic. Okay, so we're going to put them on three and on two. And then we're going to take them over. Where's the other one? There's another relic over here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so these guys are going to go there. That's absolutely fine. And oh, the gold is drying up. The gold is drying up very soon. I'm a bit worried about that. There's no more gold? There, ah, there's gold. Alright, alright, okay. Alright, so let's take these guys over here. And we're going to literally just build a storage right next to the gold. And ah, there's actually food there as well. So I guess that's pretty good. I don't have enough wood just yet, which is kind of weird. What's going on there? What is going on with my wood production? Am I literally not getting... Yeah, I'm not getting any wood whatsoever. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is... I'm going to move these two... Onto wood, and this guy off of gold. There we go. Alright. So, these guys are just going to be mining gold in the middle of nowhere. And let's hope that they're not going to get preyed upon by our opponent. But obviously, I don't know whether that really matters. I think they should be okay. Where they, where they are currently. Let's get a bunch of warriors. And I mean a bunch. Okay, so this guy's got his relic. Let's take it back to the temple. And I think this guy also has his relic. Yeah, he does. Okay. And we are going to need to build some more houses. Okay, they're moving back. That's fine. And where's the other relics? There's one over there. That's really close to the enemy. There's an, there's more gold here as well, which I would like to kill <laughs> anyone trying to get it. Okay, let's see if I can collect gold 20% faster. Movement speed. Whoa, that's nice. Give me that. Farms provide 50 food more. Yeah, why not? Let's go for that too. Okay, let's get some more houses as well, because we are nearing the population cap. Okay, these guys are absolutely fine. Let's get some more villagers. 
and we are getting a whole bunch of warriors. They have to go all the way around, which is kind of... I don't know, I think I probably need to build something there in my opinion. I'm gonna try and see if I can build like a defensive building or something. Just so that we actually have something there. And uh, I, I really need a blacksmith. Let me get a blacksmith as well. There's some food over here too, so these guys have been on food, but I'm going to actually put them on wood now because we seem to need a little bit more of that. And okay, well, villagers collect gold 20% faster, stone, collect food, there we go, that's what we need. Okay, so you guys are going to go solely on gold, thank you very much. I have no more stone, so I'm probably going to need to direct some of these guys from this onto that. So maybe I'm just going to take four of these guys from the wood. Mm. Alright, so let's get a... Where's a gate? There's a stone gate. I don't have any more... <laughs> I don't have any more stone. Well, that's that's amusing. It's because I built these things, isn't it? Yes. Okay, well, what else can I actually do here? I could get a market. Hmm... Maybe I just want to build another farm with this guy. Okay, so this guy's going to go over here, get this relic. And where's the other one? I don't see any others, so I can assume maybe they've been taken. I'm going to send this guy into the top right. Right, so uh, how can I... Uh, hmm... How can I get those medics? I'd like to get some medics, please. Let's get some warrior damage while we're at it. Can convert enemy units to friendly units. But where are the... Where are the, uh, where are the medics? I don't know where those are. I'm gonna have to probably improve my technology, so... I guess we just have to get a bunch of resources first. Alright, well, it seems like we are starting to get our food stock kind of up and I'm a bit weirded out by what why are my gold guys not actually doing anything okay that's kind of weird anyway I found another relic up here right next to the enemy base so I was a bit worried about that but thankfully we have a bunch of warriors here and as you can see it doesn't seem like our opponent is taking advantage of this gold here or this food right here so I actually don't know what's going on here so I'm gonna move a little bit closer ah it seems like the AI is maybe not doing anything maybe i maybe i destroyed it enough so that it kind of got a little bit annoyed perhaps i don't know but you can see here that it doesn't seem like it is doing that much which is kind of weird because you would think that it would but oh well never mind okay so let's just move here and kill all these guys oh yes now do bear in mind that i have researched plus one to attack and plus one to armor and maybe health as well. I'm actually unsure what the upgrade actually does, but yeah, we actually did a pretty good job on that. And if I can find some more relics, that would be pretty fantastic, but it doesn't seem like I can. Civilization upgrade available. Let's do it. Okay, let's actually see. That guy's done that. Okay, so let's go over here. And I probably need to get some siege engines and things like that, don't I? I need some more wood. I've got only four guys on the wood, but we could put some people here on wood, I suppose. So let's do that. But, yeah. I, it seems as though the AI has lost hope shall we say because they they don't seem to want to attack us that much anymore and uh, that might just be because we outpaced them because it, it's basically a reversal of what happened beforehand in the match where I actually lost because obviously you know they attacked first you know they attacked first and they had a pretty 
decent attack and uh, I wasn't able to defend that well. And in doing so, my economy took a huge hit and uh, then that basically was that, you know, just kind of lost the battle on that alone. And I'm just going to send one of my priests to the far corners here because you never know where a relic might be hiding. But it seems to me like this is a victory, but it really depends. Where are my other warriors? There they are. Right. Okay. I think that is actually it. I don't think anything is going to threaten us that much anymore. As you can see, I'm just upgrading a whole bunch here, and we don't have anything to worry about. Now, of course, bear in mind that this is still in development and them improving the AI so much as to actually give me a loss. That's pretty, that's pretty fantastic. I like that, you know, I like the AI being able to actually, you know, do things because in, uh, in the previous episodes, we kind of saw that the AI was not exactly the most aggressive. And uh, I, I think that that's maybe what's going on right there. The AI is kind of saying to itself, hey, uh, I'm going to build up my economy just like I did in, uh, <laughs> in the previous, uh, previous battle that we had. So that's probably the reason why. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy that we were able to overcome the, hmm, the, uh, the challenge, I suppose. So let's have a look here. Anyone else that I need to really worry about? Ah, there's the relic. Fantastic. All right, so we're going to get this relic and we're going to go back. There we go. And I, I don't know where the other relic is, so it's probably in this corner over here. Probably. So, there we go. I think that is it. I think that is literally it. There is nothing else he can do. And we have upgraded ourselves fully. And my priests are running around. I, I did not get to see how to, uh, how to build medics. Because apparently the Arabs do have access to medics and healing units. So it would be kind of cool to see that. I'm just going to get plus one, plus one for my, uh, for my warriors. And there's actually gold right behind my base. Isn't that hilarious? Hmm. Yeah. And that is the definition of poor scouting on my part. I really should have just been able to scout a little bit better. And then it would have made all the difference. But, oh well, never mind. So, yeah, there you go. There's a defeat for... Uh, oh, there you go. I actually got an achievement as well, which uh, means that I've... I'm owning five relics. Is that is that all the relics that you can actually get? Huh. I think maybe it is. I, th I thought there were six. Hmm. Well, as I say, I'm not too familiar with Age of Empires in general, but we have a huge amount of gold, don't we? Going to send all these guys to be off gold now, even though we are going to win. So, yeah. Okay. I'm going to see you on the stats screen, I suppose. All right. So there it is. We were able to basically dominate on every single thing, with the exception of the War Level 1. As you can see... The AI was able to beat me yet again, which is kind of surprising, but they, yeah, anyway, there you go. They've actually registered the APM this time as well, and you can see here what we've actually collected. Wow, this guy collected much more stone than I did, but as you can see, I actually kind of needed it at the end there. But yeah, anyway, I was able to win out in the end. And if you'd like to check this game out, the link is in the description. I thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.